All right, guys, just got here to Cancun's airport. I'm gonna see if we can find us a way to get to the hotel. There's several ways to do it, but I'll show you uh, show you how I did it, but I'll show you different ways to do it too. Take the bus or uh, taxi. But a lot, of, a lot of these guys charge you way too much at the entrance. So be wary and I'll show you how I did it. All right, when you first walk out, here's your uh, rental car places. You can rent your cars as soon as you walk out the door. And the taxis, all of these guys will be right here. And you got your tourist information right to your right. And you see they'll, they'll come up to you and try to sell you a taxi right there. You don't need to buy nothing on your resort, nothing. And once you get past that, All right, guys, outside, you're gonna have, you're gonna be bombarded by everybody wanting to take you. Um, on the other side over here, you'll see ADO. That's where you jump on the bus. See it over here? The ADO cab right there. You can, uh, you can jump on the bus right there and you can go directly to Playa del Carmen. It drops you off on Fifth Avenue. Uh, it's like six bucks. The bus leaves every 20 minutes. So that's actually a good way to go. Um, and you don't have to sit here and wait on somebody like I'm doing. I thought they'd be here. But anyway, mine was 15 bucks. And uh, ADO is probably how I do it next time. So anyway, that's how you get ADO or you can jump on one of these taxi guys, but they're gonna charge you 50 bucks, 40 bucks, and then they water tip. So anyway, I'll see you once I get the cab. So when you, when you walk out of the airport, what you have is, um, there's my driver. There you go. Hello. All right. When you, so when you walk out, what you're going to have is all your taxi drivers, your ADO bus, everybody right there. And if you got to meet somebody, that's where he's going to be. There's a margarita bar right there. So more than likely, that's where he's going to be. And don't walk past it because right past it, that's what I did. I walked right past him thinking there was more people. Uh, but anyway, uh, I did it on booking. This guy's great. He met me right there, had uh, picked me up, and I got the whole band to myself. So anyway, it's a good deal, and we'll take a look at this hotel and see what we think about that. All right, guys, we just got here. Guess where we at? Cancun, most beautiful beach on Cancun. This is Enrique on the way to the back to the airport. So drop you off by here. Let me just show you this beach. Best beach on Cancun right here. Amazing. All right, I'll see you at the hotel. All right, guys, we just got here. This, uh, we're staying at the La Palma. La Palma. Let's see. Hotel and Beach Club. And it is actually right here on the beach. What's up, buddy? La Palma. And it is... <laughs> Oh, it's right. And the ferry is right in front of us. Wow. There's the ferry for uh, Isla Mujer is actually right out their back door. All right, let's go check out this hotel. Let's go check out this hotel and uh, see what it looks like. I guess it's a hotel. We'll find out. Oh, tomorrow. There's the ferry. They're doing some construction in here. Now I gotta find out where to go. Mario! 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 Mm -hmm. Mario! 
La Palma? I'm looking for La Palma. La Palma, La Palma uh, Hotel. This is Alivi. Alivi? That's a man over there, you can ask him. Okay. Okay. See. Si. Hey, buddy. It's La Palma Hotel? Here? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I just go supposed to check in. Come in. Ah. I found you. I didn't know here or where. Hmm? Okay. Uh, you need my name? Un momento. Habla inglés? Uh, muy poquito español. And Toby Bolt Knight. Booking. Let's see. Booking. Reservation. Check the reservation. Yeah, because I mean the the price is uh in U.S. dollars. Yeah. It's a. Uh, 385.56 385 that's right and you have to pay in cash oh it's, it's possible it's possible is it paid for it's not paid for no we don't use your card just you you put your number to in warranty but we didn't use it you can check your account and mm. everything all right let me get with booking because i booking has the car yeah because when you make the reservation that's the reason i want to explain you you can check your account we didn't take nothing Oh, so you can't charge that card? No, it's directly here. All right, guys, I finally, finally got a hotel. Uh, first one I went to, La Palma Beachfront Hotel. Don't go there. Just do yourself a favor and don't go. Um, I got there. I did it through booking. He wanted me to pay him in cash and no lockbox. Um, the whole deal was just sketchy, so I just left. Uh, anyway, let me show you what I did find. It's called the Crystal Cancun uh hotel and it's actually really nice i think this is a, a hotel slash maybe a timeshare deal too uh, because there's some amenities you can't use but let me show you the room it's actually really nice um, especially peak season That's what you got it for got a lock box which is a good deal um it has a little mini bar mini bar she says not included um little bathroom pretty nice nice shower good looking toilet uh nice shower head i think uh watch harold balder he would call that a noodles head so maybe one day i'll meet noodles um nice little table there for your clothes nice big bed um, and I didn't even know this is a beachfront room. I mean, it's an ocean view room and a balcony. They didn't even state that. And out here, you got a nice beach area, cabanas. Um, comes with an excavator and a bobcat. So I guess maybe that's uh, just for just for hotel guests. If you want to run the excavator, you probably can. Um, it's high tide right now, but there is a beach out there. It's rocky. But they do have a beach out there. So, and you can hear the people out there raising hell. It's actually a pretty nice place. For the uh, for the cost of it, it was actually a really, really good bargain uh, to be in right at peak season. So anyway, I'm going to charge my batteries, and we're going to go downtown, and let's see if we can find us a taco stand. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I took, uh, from the hotel zone, I took R2 bus downtown it was 12 pesos i'm just kind of walking around now seeing what i find i don't really don't even know where i am but uh well i'm gonna get back but i'm about to get back sometime so anyway hoping i can find a uh, taco joint here somewhere that's what i come for there's a market that's real popular i know it's close by uh, it is market 28 it's like over this way somewhere anyway this taco joint right here let's check it out no yeah i grilled the survivor dso 1988 let's go try it out that's pretty cool decoration is good
Paco Rigo. Paco Rigo. The art's pretty cool on the wall. You see? Alright, let's see if, uh, let's see how this works here. Promotion. Two tortillas, one de pasta, four tacos, the shit, I don't even know how to order this. Alright, we're gonna wait for somebody to come here and then, uh, see what we can order. Alright guys, I just ordered. I don't know how I ordered, but I did it. I ordered uh, two, two beef tacos, pastor, whatever that is, and uh, we're gonna see how it comes out. My Spanish is, is pretty bad. Uh, anyway, let's see what comes out. I'm not exactly sure what I ordered, but uh, it should be good. This place actually looks awesome. So when it comes out, I'll, uh, I'll turn you back on. Take a look. Oh, oh it's a sauce. Caliente? Salsa. Caliente? Salsa. Rojo y verde. Oh. Rojo y verde. Mucho caliente or little? Sí. Okay. All right, y'all, I had to actually take this video down and now I'm redoing it so anyway what happened was they turned the radio on in the background and they demonetized the video and they had a copyright claim on it and this is the only way to fix it and I wanted to show you this part this is what they brought out they brought out a beef taco and a pork taco and on the uh, pork taco it had pineapple so anyway I'm just going to go ahead and try them both and the cilantro and onion got to have that I mean that's like a must so anyway loaded up with that and obviously from what I found out from uh, one of the viewers is I don't know how to eat tacos so anyway next time I make a taco video hopefully I will know how to eat a taco leave me a comment below tell me how terrible a job I am about <laughs> eating tacos but anyway, this is the pork one. I'm, I'm telling you, it was absolutely delicious. It was great. The pineapple worked so good with that pork. And the uh, tortillas, the corn tortillas, they're, they're double. So I just got to find out what I was doing wrong, uh, how to eat them. Leave me a comment below. Tell me, uh, just tell me how bad I did about eating the taco. The beef one, now I put uh, a little bit different sauce on it. I, I put the red one on one and then the green one on the other. And I always like the uh, salsa verde. That's always been my favorite. And normally it's the hot one. So anyway, this beef one was, I think this is the first taco I had in Mexico. So this beef one is it. I'm telling you, it is so good. It, it was a smoky flavor. So I think that maybe they... Uh, they, they charred it or they have a grill that they grill this meat on and then chop it up and then put it in there. See, that's what I just said. I said, holy shit, that's a good one. That's my favorite one. That's, that's what I just said. So anyway, this place is Taco Rigo's and it was way downtown, way past Market 28 um, in the downtown area. But anyway, like my videos, subscribe, hit the bell button, tell all your friends, send it to your neighbors and everybody else. Adios. Okay, I left Taco Rico's and then I stumbled across this park. Now there's music blaring all in the background because everybody's having a good time eating. But it's called Parque Los Palapos. And I know I butchered the name, but if you just leave me a comment below, tell me how to say it. Um, and I'll maybe edit it again, but it's got an amphitheater here and all in the front is a big big square and all the kids is playing and I think at nighttime There's a bunch a bunch of food carts around this from the research I did it looks like this is a really really popular area 
Now they had some stalls back here in the back and it looks like these stalls are there all the time. They got rolling doors that shut down. So I think this is a daily occurrence here for all these regular food vendors. And actually one that caught my eyes, the one right in front of us is Mocajete. And the Mocajetes look extremely good. Now if it was nighttime and I was there, I would definitely get me one of them Mocajetes. Um, but anyway, all of them looked good. And I was looking for something, you know, kind of a street food. And right now there's still music playing, so I can't turn the audio back on. But then at the corner of my eye, I caught this cart straight in front of me. And that's what I'm starting to walk towards now. So anyway, I'm going to cut the audio back on. And you can see what I actually ended up getting. And it's actually really, really cool. So here we go. I didn't even see all these carts at first. There's all kinds of food carts over here. Let's see what we can find. Churros and papas. Let's see what a churro and papa is. Hello. What is that? Hola. Churros. Churros. Make me one. I'll buy one. What is, what is this? Banana? Or is it banana? Banana. One bag, six churros for 40 pesos, amigo. Uh, give me, give me one churro. No, no, no must hombre. Give me one and some of that and some of that. Banana or? Chardos. Banana? Yeah, give me banana too. Or something. Whatever you make with a banana. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Only tip. Yeah, let me put this here. What you do? You make something with that? Well, watch that. Lechera y media crema. 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 Sí. Sí. La coca. ¿Dónde está la coca? la tiraste. ¿Dónde? La que dijiste que era de él. Así que estaba ya tu piso. Ay. Cómprale otro, ¿no? Que ajá. Oh, delicioso. Está no. Parece que no te, pero no. Okay, so I give her 100 pesos. I get... Thank you so much. Mucho gracias. Provecho. Okay. And I got 50 bags. So that's two dollars and fifty cents. Sí. Oh, and you put you put this on it. Oh, I see. Okay. Y'all gotta forgive me. I'm a gringo. All right. Hi Naples. Adios amigo. Hi Naples. Hot. Oh yeah. All right, thank you. All right, guys, we're gonna try this out. It looks awesome. Take a look. Let's go find a place to sit and try it. That was uh, some type of cream they put on there. It was like uh, condensed condensed milk, I believe. Okay, I finally got set down. They're uh, blasting La Bamba right in front of me, and I couldn't help it. I just had to sit there. I could have went somewhere else and they didn't have music. Wasn't thinking. But anyway, I like La Bamba. So what do you do? You got to eat churros and listen to La Bamba. Only choice. So anyway, what I'm doing is I'm eating the churro right now, and it was absolutely delicious. Now I'm trying the banana. The banana is good, and the condensed milk is uh, pretty good on it too. But i tell you the truth, my favorite is that churro. It had like cinnamon sugar on it, and I'm not sure what it's made of. I don't know if it's uh, like flour dough or fried dough or what it is. But anyway, try it. If you go, 
get you a churro. Like, subscribe, hit the bell button, tell your friends, send it to your mama. I need your help. Watch my videos. Adios.